Hey everybody, Sister Fantastic here and welcome to today's video. It's a collab, the Rocker Chip collab. There's 17 other ladies plus myself for a total of 18 beautiful women trying to create a fun, creative Rocker Chick look. Some people are going to be dressing up with full-on wigs and everything. And anyway, I've just got my little do-rag on here just for fun. I'm trying to cover up my hair a little bit. And uh, anyway, but uh, I will reveal... Um, the start of my look from scratch and you guys will see what I look like from the beginning to the end with the finished hair and but anyway I just wanted to cover it up with this little bandana for right now but anyway there's 18 of us there's three groups total some are doing giveaways some are not but anyway there's three playlists everything's linked down below and of course the giveaway details are going to be in the video so stay tuned watch the whole thing give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for get down there and hit that subscribe button so anyway take this journey with me this YouTube journey and and watch watch me do a crazy look today so anyway this is gonna be fun so hang on for the ride and thanks for watching all right y'all here I am I'm ready to get started you can see that I have a lot to do to create this look. So I did shampoo my hair yesterday and I put it up in these bandanas and I just twisted them together. So anyway, there's like two major curls here and the two bandanas are tied together. I slept all night like that and of course my hair is dry. So I've got a bunch of flyaways here I've got to deal with. but. The hair is the biggest obstacle, but I don't want to do that part until after I do the makeup because I don't want y'all to see the hair until I'm ready to reveal the finished look. So I just thought I would do a, just like a get ready with me and just do the whole shoot and shebang in front of you today. We'll speed it up, you know, on camera and everything. And I will show you uh, the giveaway here in a clip. So stay tuned. I'm going to insert it somewhere in the video. So anyway, right now I'm going to go in with the Ciate London Dewy Skin. Uh, it's a vitamin C glass glow primer. And it's like a moisturizer and a primer all in one. It's a really beautiful product. And I like using it with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Illuminating Foundation. It works really well together. And as you can see, my cheeks are flushed. My natural redness is coming through. So I definitely want to cover that up if I can, but I don't want to wear a heavy foundation today. So the Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation is thinner. It's a thinner formula than the Perlice one, the CC cream that I like to wear. So anyway, here we go. This is in the shade 150W. And I'm going to use two pumps of this. And I'm going to brush it on to start with. And then I'm going to buff it in with a sponge if I can find my foundation brush maybe it's here in this bag no it is not I have misplaced my foundation brush okay plan B <laughs> We're just gonna go right in with the sponge so let me just dab it on the foundation brush that I like to use is from per cosmetics and it's like a kabuki kind of a style it's got a flat head on it I really like it okay So I'm just going to use a makeup sponge here and work this into the skin. I 
may need another pump. You know, this redness is going to come through today. And there's not a thing I can do about it except for put full coverage foundation on. And I do not want to do that. So anyway, I'm going to try to, like, add some concealer. And see what I can... I really wanted that luminous look. So let me let me find this. I'm gonna use this Master Conceal here by Maybelline uh, Studio Face Studio by Maybelline. It's in the shade 10 Fair. I need to use this up anyway. So it's got quite a bit of yellow in it, so that should help counteract some of this redness. Let's see what happens here. And the purple circles, it helps with that too. Okay, that's not too bad right there. Okay, and I can always add some more concealer if I need to. All right, let's do brows. I'm going to go in with this brow pencil from the Brow Gal. And there's quite a few people that I could uh, imitate as far as a rocker chick look is concerned. Um, it's difficult. Let me just say this right off the bat. It's difficult for me to like pinpoint any one person. Most all of them have great big hair. And, of course, the 80s was really famous for that. Um, I had a wig, a really cute bob wig somewhere. I don't know where it's at. It may have gotten lost or given away or something. But anyway, it was black, and it just changed my whole appearance. And it was like an undercut type of a bob. And it had been really cute for, like, you know, the 50s or 60s kind of a look. But anyway, I'm just going to... I'm going to do my best here just to, I'm not going to really say that I'm trying to imitate a certain person, but I just want to be like, you know, like if I was to go to a rock concert or if I liked rock music, you know, like a groupie kind of a person. And, uh, so anyway, when I came up, when I was growing up, I graduated high school in 1977 and the late 70s, early 80s, that was like... You know, that was like the era of when I was coming up and trying to I don't know about these brows y'all today. So I guess you could say that my look today is going to probably represent that time frame. We used to go to concerts when we were teenagers. And, uh, of course, the music, you know, was a bit different back then than it is today. Uh, 
I remember going to a KISS concert. That's probably about as wild as it got. I went to a Leonard Skinner concert one time. And that was outdoors. All right, um, before I get carried away here, I better stop on the brows. Um, my very first concert was to go see Donny Osmond. <laughs> anyway, I had to race a girl in a race. This guy had extra tickets and he was just going to give them away. And uh, anyway, there were two of us that wanted his tickets. And uh, anyhow, we had to race to get it. And I won the race, so I got to go to the concert. So anyway. And then as I got older, like in um, my mid-20s, then my, ch my taste in music started changing. And I started listening to Christian music. And, you know, I'd go to concerts like Sandy Patty and Carmen and, you know, all of those people. Okay, so... Now, I feel like I still need more concealer. So let me find this one I've got from Huda Beauty. And, and use a little dab of it. This is in the shade Marshmallow. It's really light. And I really like it because it brightens up the under eyes really, really good. So let me go back in with this sponge and You know, I grew up in uh, a little town called Greenboro, Tennessee, which is about 25 miles north of Nashville. And, of course, Nashville is Music City, USA. And, uh, you know, all the genres of music are there, represented there. But country music is really, really big. And so is the Grand Ole Opry. And so anyway, I remember as a kid going to the Grand Ole Opry with my parents and we sat on the front row the front row and I fell asleep <laughs> so that's kind of how I feel about country music I mean I listen to Dolly Parton different ones you know sing uh, Kenny Rogers you know different ones that sing uh, you know but I don't like turn the radio on and listen to country music But everybody knows those songs like Islands in the Stream and, you know, I, my mom listened to, my parents listened to country music when I was a little kid. My mom had a bunch of albums, Conway, Twitty, and Loretta Lynn and, you know, different ones. Glenn Campbell, the Everly Brothers. She had all that type of stuff. So I grew up listening to all those songs. But then when I started, you know, making my own choices in music and buying albums for my own self, I was into, you know, like rock and roll. Elton John, Heart. On the lighter side, I listened to Gordon Lightfoot. Um, the Carpenters, you know. Anyway, okay, so... Just doing a little bronzer here. Still got redness. Don't know what to do about that. It's just one of those days where it's just going to come through. All right, now I'm going to go in with some blush. I want to use this blush from MAC. <clears throat> if I don't drop it first. 
And this is in the shade Melba. It's really pretty. It's like a peachy kind of a color. And I kind of want to go heavy on the blush today because I feel like, you know, as a rocker chick. The makeup is heavier. Okay. Which with my flushed cheeks, I'm not sure huh, how much blush I actually need, but. My mom used to tell me all the time, Laura, you wear too much blush. You need to wipe some of it off. Let me just add some right up here. To the bronzer. All right. That's enough on that okay now let's work on these eyes y'all today I need a really heavy look I'm gonna use um, this uh, masquerade mini by Juvia's today and as you can see there's lots of colors to choose from here there's some neutrals and there's some purples and maroons there's blues and greens so Anyway, let's get into this and see what I can do. I'm going to grab this fluffy brush from Alamar Cosmetics and I'm going to I'm going to go in with I'm going to go in with this um, I'm going to mix. I'm going to mix this brown and this orange together. And we're just going to see what happens. See what happens. But anyway, it's not so much about the eyeshadow. I better put some primer on. As it is, it's not so much about the eyeshadow as it is like the eyeliner. I mean, eyeliner was just such a big thing. And I could go with the all black kind of a thing, but... To be honest with you, I mean, those of us that ran in, you know, the rock and roll circles, you know, as kids, you know, going to concerts and hanging out and listening to rock and roll music together, we never did really wear a whole lot of black eyeshadow. So I'm going to stay away from the black today. And I'm just going to kind of show you what we did. And... So anyway, I just want to lay down this in the crease and I'm going to take it up. So basically what we did is we wore like two colors of eyeshadow. We'd lay one in the crease and then what was on the lid and up above the brow bone was the same color. So that's good. I wore a, a lot of blues back then, but I didn't want to do a blue look today. Okay. All right, let me grab another brush here. 
And um, I'm going to go into, let's see. Yeah, let me go into this shade here called uh, Daya. Daya, D-A-H-I-A. -A. It's like a, a light goldish shimmer. And I'm just going to use a fluffy brush and I'm just going to go in lightly. And I'm going to use that same shade up above underneath the brow bone. And I'm not really looking for a high shine. I'm just wanting to get some color on the lids and it's not really about the eyeshadow. It's going to be, you know, eyeliner and eyelashes and the big hair. If I can hope my hair co cooperates. So, but anyway, you know, when you're thinking about creating one of these types of looks, you know, like a rocker chick look, you think about all kinds of stuff. I couldn't tell you how many pictures I looked at and how many, you know, things I considered. And I was, it can get overwhelming, really, when you think about it. So, you know, I just didn't want to, I didn't want to go there. I just didn't want to, you know, get overwhelmed with it. Okay, now I'm going to use a flat brush, and I'm going to choose this purple. I'm going to choose this purple right here. It's the shade called Makeda. M-A-K-E-D-A. -E Makeda. And it looks so pretty, and I just want to try it out. I've never used this shade. But I just think that this look, you know, needs a pop of color. And purple goes good with orange. And it goes good with brown. So I'm going to carry this up and out. And we're gonna make this like a faux eyeliner look. And then I'm gonna hit the top of the the lid here. like an inverted wing. Just like that. This purple is bright. So just the the wing is the drama, you know, in the eye look. Now back then we used to use a lot of liquid liner. But liquid liner never did work too good for me because I've got hooded eyes. So but doing an eyeshadow in place of the eyeliner works better for me.
I amuse myself, y'all, with some of the stuff I come up with. Okay, now I'm going to go off camera. We're going to do a little bit of um, mascara and lashes action. And then I'm going to come back and we're going to talk about the giveaway. All right, see y'all in a minute. All right, y'all, I'm back, and this is the finished look. I've got some big hair, and I put some hair chalk in it, some red hair chalk, and it's kind of a maroonish red. But anyway, I thought that I was playing up on the purple there with um, the lipstick from Huda Beauty. It's called Lady Boss. I love it. I decided to skip the lashes today because I felt like the eye was bold enough with the eyeliner, the faux eyeliner that I did. And I had a really good time. So, you know, this is something that I would have done, you know, back then. Throw a blue jean jacket on, you know, have me a couple of friendship bracelets and a pair of blue jeans and run out the door, you know. So anyway, this palette is a fun little palette, y'all. I used four colors out of it. I used the these two right here. And then I used um, this... Um, this shimmer right here and then I popped up here for the eyeliner and used that purple so anyway this is a fun palette this is called the masquerade mini by Juvia's and for my giveaway today I have an extra palette just like it that I'm gonna give to one of you and I'm gonna put you know some other things with it a couple of makeup items a couple of skincare items a couple of masks you know and uh, put that together for you guys and have a nice little box and so anyway if you are interested in this giveaway give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below tell me how good I look in red hair <laughs> no I'm just kidding um, you have to be 18 or older you have to be subscribed to everybody in my group and the ladies in my group are um, course myself Becky from Becky's Empty Nest Connie from Connie up north Gloria which is Southern um, Beauty After 50 it used to be Southern Mama Voice Beauty After 50 Mary which is beautifying MZ and Kim um, let's see I forgot Kim's channel name Anyway, I'll have everybody listed down below that's in my group. You need to be subscribed to all, all six of us. And then there's two other groups, of course, and you can visit them, you know, and enter whatever giveaways you can find. I don't think everyone's doing a giveaway, but some of us are doing giveaways. And so anyway, the rules are going to apply um, across the board, whatever group. You know, if you're entering someone in group two's giveaway, you have to be subscribed to everybody in that group. So, <laughs> YouTube has nothing to do with this. None of the brands represented, like Juvia's Place or any of the brands that I'm going to be putting in my giveaway, have anything to do with this. Once it's in the post office's hands, uh, U.S. only, 48 lower states, um, can only enter. Um, the post office is uh, going to be responsible for the package after I put it in their hands. I can't be held liable for any kind of bumps or dents or anything like that. I cannot replace the items if anything uh, ever gets lost or stolen. Um, let's see, what else? Um, yeah, give the video a thumbs up and if you uh, will share the video out. You know, like on Instagram or Facebook and tag me, you know, I'll give you extra entries and I will uh, draw the winner in a week and post it on the community tab. My community tab is where I'll post the winner. <clears throat> um, leave in a sentence down below, leave uh, a sentence with the word, um, let's see what, what word should we use 
use the word dark because I've got my hair is kind of a dark red and my eye makeup's a bit dark and my lips are dark so dark so anyway just in a sentence use the word dark and yeah that's pretty much it so um, I will hold this giveaway for one week and then I'll post on the community tab like I said so if you guys are interested in this palette you know and a few other items I'm gonna put it together like a subscription box like I like to do and um, anyway what do y'all think about this big hair y'all saw what I did anyway it was fun it was fun it, it turned out better than I thought it would so anyway I just want to thank everybody for um, uh, joining in the collab I have several people that have helped me that deserve honorable mentions I've got uh, the admins are Mary beautifying MZ Jennifer Jennifer loves makeup and Christine um, life with Christine all three of them were admins in the group they helped out a whole lot also Sabrina with Sabrina's unboxings and more she's helped out a whole lot too and so you know without these people around me you know I could not have pulled this off of course I'm the host and I do not um, claim to you know the success of this collab in any way because you know this is this is a group thing it's a together thing it's a team thing and I just you know I let go I delegate I let go of certain things you know so people can have an opportunity to learn and grow and and be a part of you know what's going on and it just it it makes my job easier and it gives them responsibility and they enjoy you know um having something to do so anyway i enjoy that i enjoy doing like that so anyway um a little kim's a little of this a little bit of this and that uh, something like that that's kim's um channel name I don't know why my mind is blank today but anyway I'm gonna have their channels listed down below the playlists are gonna be down below as well and all the girls in the group are <coughs> gonna be listed down below as well so there's 18 of us all together so anyway I don't want to stop talking y'all because I won't I can't stop looking at myself <laughs> oh that's ridiculous isn't it anyway all right, y'all, that is it for me today. I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you today is my prayer, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Okay, y'all, this is the palette, what the outside carton looks like, and then, of course, the colors on the inside. And so we have all these beautiful neutrals, love all these beautiful browns and reds and maroons. And then you get up here and you've got your uh, shimmers and then purples, lots of pretty reds and pinks and purples. And then up here you've got some blues and, and a green. So anyway, this is a gorgeous palette. It's a lot of fun to play with. Juvia's Place is really pigmented and you guys are going to like this giveaway. So anyway, I wanted to show you the palettes up close, or the palette up close. This one right here that you're looking at is mine, and then of course there's the new one. Alright, I just wanted y'all to see that.